Hello, welcome to this pre-engineered building tutorial. Today I will show you how to create a construction line and how to use PEB tapered section S94 component to create a column. Now on the snapping bar, turn on the accessory snapping mode. This one is snap to points and grid intersections. This one is snap to end points. Now we are going to create a construction line. On Edit tab, select Construction Object and select Line option from drop down list. Pick the intersection point of grid A and grid elevation 8000 for the first point on line. Move the mouse cursor toward to the right and be aware that when the dim 10000 appear, We are going to hold down the control key and click left mouse as the origin to show the from location coordinates. Press O to turn the author mode on. Move the mouse curse up until the dimension 1000 appear. Then click the left mouse for the second point. Now we are going to extend this construction line in both directions. Demo double click on the construction line to open construction line properties dialog box. In construction line properties, Type 5000 into extension field and select modify to extend the line. Now select the construction line again. Tecla structure will highlight its handles. The handle of the first end point is yellow, and the other one is magenta. Now select the magenta handle, right click and choose move option from the context menu. Pick the magenta point for the origin, and pick the intersection between construction line and grid C for the destination point. Now we are going to offset this line to the below screen 150 mm.
But first let's change the work plan. We are going to use set work plan using three points tool in order to make the X axis in line with the construction line. Now select the line, press Ctrl plus C. Pick the yellow handle point for the origin and move the mouse downward until the perpendicular snap appears. Then input 150 and press enter. Double click on the second line. When construction line properties dialog box appears, select red color. Select the second line and right click to show pop up menu. Let's choose move option and select the yellow point for the origin. Right click on the screen then select intersection on the pop up menu. Now pick the intersection point between line and grid A for the destination. Change the work plane parallel to the view plane by selecting the parallel to view plane tool then pick any point on the screen. Pick the second line and select the magnetic point. Right click and select move option. We are going to move it up 50 millimeters. Before drafting a column, we are going to add a new material first. On the file menu, click catalogs then material catalog to open the modify material catalog dialog box. Right click on any existing material grade and then select add grade. A new material grade is added under to the material type you selected. Change the material grade name by clicking the grade. and enter the new name for it. And then input the profile density. Press update and OK to save the material grade and close the modify material catalog dialog box. Now we are going to use the PEB tapered section S94 to create a column. Press Ctrl plus F to open the applications and components dialog box and input S94 into the search box then press enter. Double click on PEB tapered section, S94, component to open its dialog box. Now let's input the column parameters. This one is height of the web at section on the top of the column. This one is web thickness. This one is outer flange thickness. And this one is inner flange thickness. This one is width of the outer flange.
This one is in a flange width. This field is where you define a prefix and a starting number for the part position number. The name we type here will be shown in drawings and reports. This one is the class number. It affects the color in which the part is shown in the model views. Now we are going to give this setup a name, in order to reload it in the next time. Finally press save as. Let's change the XY plane parallel to horizontal plan. On the view tab, select work plane option and then select parallel to view plan tool. Then pick the 3D view screen. Now pick the PayB tapered section, S96, component again. Then select the intersection between grid A and elevation plus 2.000 for the first point. And then pick the second point. Now we are going to rotate it around Z axis 90 degree. Turn the select components on first. Select the column and right click. Then choose Move Special and then Rotate. Pick the intersection between Grid A and Grid plus 2.000 for the origin point of rotation. Enter 90 for the angle. Finally hit Move button. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.